Christmas. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. We know the thing, Joe. It's time for the Buff Show. I bet you're as bright as you're good looking. Right, Joe. A great lineup today on the Buff Show. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. Corn Pop and everyone else is welcome to call into the show. 407-774-8255. 407-774-8255. Join the conversation. I want to be clear. I'm not going nuts. And here's your host, Matt Buff. Welcome to the Buff Show. Buff, 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 buff Show. On 94.9 FM, AM 950, I am your host, Matt Buff. My co-host, Brittany Walker, Blonde Patriot. What's going on? What's up? Happy Monday. Oh, yeah. Feels like a Friday. Does it really? I feel like it's been a long weekend because we didn't have a live show this weekend. And I've been waiting for Monday. Well, the reason it feels like a Friday because it feels like we've been through so much garbage already. <laughs> and then we have we have Chuck Schumer on the floor, right? On the floor of the, the Senate. And he's not thinking about the election. He's thinking about something else. And when that trial ends, senators will have to decide if they believe Donald John, Donald John Trump incited the erection I love you too, but you're not my type. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. Believing for we so are long. We're broadcasting from the William Fitzpatrick Studio. Listen to the Buff Show on Pandora, Spotify, Amazon, and more. Follow the show activity on Rumble, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, MeWe, hopefully Parlor soon, and for our China friends, TikTok. And Twitter, while we still can. Check us out on Alexa devices and SalemNow.com for new videos. All out of love, Brittany. All, all out of love and all out of ideas on how to explain this hideous administration. Yeah, I mean, it's really started off on a really rough note. And Gabe, how about that start of the show, man? I'm, I'm crying and I'm really touched by that. That, that that clip that you just played. You like how Trump said? I mean, you're not yeah, my type. Yeah. <laughs> we have impeachment trouble brewing again, and uh, they put Leahy, the big, the old fossil senator. He's like 174 years old, and he's going to oversee the impeachment trials. Oh, where's Trump? He's not here to impeach. Where is he? Oh, where? Somebody give me some insulin. Oh, we can't now because it's too expensive. <laughs> Show contributor Nikki in studio. What's up, Nikki? Hey, how are you? Doing good. This is Thanks radio. Feel free me. to yeah. expand on that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My Red Bull hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah, so. right. Good. Um, I think there's some uh, legal drug. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We're, we're doing all good here. <laughs> Will from Cellulartronics. Will you, Nance? Great to have you. Great sponsor of the show. Where tonight I'm in a good mood. I think we should give away something from Cellulartronics, like maybe a percentage off a of phone repair or something like that. How does that sound to you? You know, we should definitely do that. I know that hurts you more than it hurts me, but <laughs> <laughs> nothing hurts me anymore. I got Jesus. I'm yes. good. There you go. Amen. <laughs> that is awesome. Call 407-774-8255. Win prizes from Liam Fitzpatrick's yep. tonight, which is great. You can play our swamp quiz to win those prizes. And then we will give somebody, if they got a cracked phone out there, we'll hook them up. Will, I wish that you uh, repaired refrigerators. I could have used you today. <laughs> and I wish you repaired cars. I could tell you a crazy story about a simple brake job that turned into an axle oh, problem. Right. Guess who's on line one? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go to our hotline and say, let me see if I can guess, okay? Breaking on the Buff Show. Sam is on line one. What's up, Sam? Hey, baby, what's going on, Mr. Buff and beautiful Brittany? <laughs> yeah, you got 30 seconds. We got a lot. We got to get All to right, the LGBTQ well, stuff, so hurry. I'm down. Y'all got to answer it. All right. 30 you seconds, got, go. Y- yep, yep. You got you got uh, Carter and Reagan, the Shah of Iran, dictating Reagan being president, or that he's not going to back her Washington. Then you got Patrick Swayze when he was a young kid doing Red Dawn, and it was supposed to be the Soviets. But China's pissed off because I'm sorry about the language. China's mad because they can't go to Canada and train on our northern border. So put it together. Thank you. Bye. 
Okay, nice take, <laughs> but the language is something that keeps Gabe on his toes. Right? Did you get it or not, Gabe? Did I he mean, get I'm through? A Midwest okay, girl, good job. I can handle fast pace, but I, I have no idea what he just said. Does anyone? <laughs> he says, he, I'll tell you exactly what he said. If you've seen yes. the movie with Patrick Swayze yeah. called Red Dawn, yes. why are they training troops in Canada? Chinese troops yes. in Canada. Yes. And every week I tell them because they're a bunch of blanks, wussies, <laughs> the other word for it. Yes. Oh, darn. Well, he's on the list. <laughs> it's, okay. it, to, uh, to who it may concern at the FCC, the oh. Buff Show is not responsible for <laughs> the callers that call the show and drink before they do oh, so. Oh, he enjoys our show. We all pray for that guy. Pray <laughs> he, for that guy. He, he has a he filthy mouth. He didn't technically say a curse word. Let's give him a break here. Right? Well, what, what, well, he apologized. What did he apologize he for? Said, he said peed off. Peed off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought he said something bad. No. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Oh, no. I heard a beat. You're good, Sam. You're good. Okay, Sam, I take back everything I just said about you. <laughs> You're good. Uh, I, I have some breaking news. Yes, let's go uh, with it. So, oh, you want me to hit the thing? Yeah, oh, yeah, breaking news. Let's go. Okay, uh, breaking news on the Buff Show. Over to Blonde Patriot. All right, breaking news. So after multiple reports that Italy was one of the countries that potentially interfered in the 2020 election, the Italian prime minister has just resigned. Oh, wow. wow. So that is a pretty big deal. Yeah, someone actually just posted it to my Facebook. That's what I love about social media. The one good thing about it, people keep me updated on what's going on. But yeah, the Italian prime minister uh, has just resigned. And did um, we say why? Uh, no, she said arrests have been made and those in custody have signed affidavits and are cooperating with authorities. And she PM'd me the link to the article. And so, add that to the list yeah. of, uh, of overseas um, yeah. that have resigned from their isn't that strange position. yeah a little bit weird isn't it yeah you have uh the netherlands the dutch government that uh resigned i think it was right before january 20th inauguration mm -hmm. uh now you have italy uh and i know there's some others in there too but yeah that's that's pretty crazy follow us on our Ooh. facebook page facebook.com slash the buff show orlando we see a couple comments in there we want to give away prizes in there, too, so make sure you say hello, tag a few friends, and join us. But, Brittany, that is crazy news, um, because when you get right down to it, the corruption that we're seeing around the world mm -hmm. is just unbelievable. We uh, There were some rescued children in California. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to talk about yes. that for a second, because that uh, fell under a Trump administration policy, by the way. He really tackled uh, yes. child sex trafficking. And it's one of the scariest and saddest things you could ever hear about, Will. I mean, we're talking about children here. It was uh, U.S. Marshals rescued 33 uh, children in Operation um, L.A. Sting mm -hmm. operation. I have a feeling and I'm very uh, afraid that things like this are mm -hmm. going to dwindle down and children are going to be more at risk because of the lack of deportations and border security. I think we're in big trouble. Well, I mean, let's just talk about the, this bust in L.A. for a second because there was 33 that were rescued. Eight of them were rescued specifically from child sex trafficking situations. Now, if you read the articles, I read multiple articles reported um, that several of these victims, victims that were in these trafficking rings, were arrested for misdemeanor uh, crimes that were totally separate from this, you know, this trafficking thing. So now we have a problem where our country is uh, rescuing, quote unquote, rescuing victims and then throwing them right back into the jail system for misdemeanor crimes such as running away from home was one of them. Uh, another one was uh, robbing a, a, a gas station. So these are, are minor crimes and my, it's a big problem. It's a really big problem. The other big problem here is that the FBI did not uh, identify the names of the suspects who were taken into custody and arrested for participating in this trafficking operation. So I want to call out the FBI because why are you not releasing the names of these folks and why are we arresting human trafficking victims and putting them back in jail? Why? And I got caught flat-footed on one of your posts where we were talking about this. I said, well, rehabilitation should be the first thing for us, a victim. And then I'm getting told there's not enough beds. I'm getting told there's not enough hospital space. There's just not. And what they're doing is, well, they're putting them back in the system, or like Brittany mm -hmm. just said, because they had a prior... Well, I know you wanted to get to this, too. Let's go to Will and then you, Nikki, because you had something on this. But, Will, this evil that has perpetrated our land doesn't seem to... Uh, have one bit of effect on how people govern. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, those kind of things that are happening, we know they were supposed to come. When you look at scripture, they were supposed to come. They had to come. 
And the unfortunate thing is, is that we have a lot of people that are siding with those. And even on the Christian side, either because the scriptures have talked about it, even though the scriptures have talked about unrighteousness, it doesn't mean you vote for unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. No, you still vote righteous, righteous for the righteous ones. You don't vote for unrighteousness mm -hmm. because scriptures have said that things like that were to come. And if you look out there right now, the most imminent danger that the whole world is in, the most ultimate reason why Trump himself is hated so much is because he keeps saying the one that is hated the most by the whole world, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Yes. He keeps saying God. All these, the entire Godhead was kicked out of a constitution, was kicked out of a school, was kicked out of everything. America wanted nothing to do with it. And Trump comes and keep talking about God, mm -hmm. keep talking about Jesus. Everything else they say is a cover-up. The real hatred is because of Christ. Brittany talked about on the show before, um, and we saw a transformation in Trump before he was elected. Mm -hmm. We talked about that was probably the point he got saved. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing. If you're if you're a Bible believer, if you believe in Scripture, you believe in grace, and you believe that people are forgiven, it might, be, it might not be at the beginning of their life. It could be at any point in their life. But that's why we have grace. That's why we show forgiveness. And, you know, uh, so today I did get my refrigerator repaired by an awesome company. I want to give them a quick shout-out, Amazing Appliance Repair. We talked for about an hour and a half today about, about politics, and he made a, a great point. He said, who was the last president that spoke about Jesus Christ as much as Donald Trump has? And none. 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 Sounds like a great potential say, sponsor for the show. It does. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, say, I say to all Christians that point the finger at them, just the same thing Jesus Christ said to the Pharisees when they were trying to stone that lady. Whichever one of them that has no sin, throw the first stone. Because mm -hmm. the ones normally that point finger of his past, of sin that he has committed, are the biggest sinners in the kingdom. Absolutely. Or pretending to be in the kingdom. So we have to be very careful when we hear that that we know and discern correctly that there's a lot of wickedness even because you come to church it doesn't stop you from being wicked the church is open for everybody a person in the church is not necessarily a person that's in love with god it could mm -hmm. just be a visitor so because somebody from the church say something don't assume it's the church mm -hmm. and that goes all the way to the pastor level well you're going to so love our thursday good. show we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about the church with a senior pastor from calvary chapel cyprus about how the church is hardly recognizable from when this guy, you talked about the starting of the country where the pastors were on the front lines in the Revolutionary War for religious freedom. Mm -hmm. Now they're in the back of the line kowtowing to uh, liberal it's ideas all about and money. philosophy. Mm -hmm. okay. 501Cs. Yeah, go exactly. ahead, Nikki. I know a, a, this whole <laughs> segment has, has a lot of stuff you wanted to talk about. Oh, no, I was just going to say for all of these quote unquote Christian people that want to throw a stone at Trump. They don't realize what God does when he uses someone for a purpose mm -hmm. and what he has used Donald Trump for. The purpose is so much bigger than anything that we can even imagine. And I believe wholeheartedly it has to do with the children, not just those 33 that were rescued, mm -hmm. but the hundreds of thousands that have been rescued under his watch and more to come. You know, the what we have uncovered and what has been discovered with the underground tunnels and all of these things that has that has to do with him. Without him, these children would be lost. And I think it's even bigger than that. I think it's Trump rescuing children from these trafficking situations, but also rescuing them from the indoctrination that they're experiencing oh, yeah. in our country. I'm glad and, you went that direction. And, uh, you know, in, uh, once again, the indoctrination with the whole transgenderism movement, the LGBT movement. I mean, I, these kids are so confused. That's right. our next segment. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about the pronouns and the, uh, and the alphabet people. Yes. But um, I, I want to make one last point before we go to break, Gabe. Um, we'll get to Jeff right after the break but one last point about that when uh, i noticed that chicago is still locked down from schools and and we can talk about the the we do every time Brittany and i talked about opening the schools we said we also got to go to 1776 project mm -hmm. we always talked about changing the curriculum too yes but the problem is when you're keeping kids out of schools they face abuse yeah, that is do. otherwise reported by teachers and administrators the the kids and we always talk about how MAGA supporters are being abused right now um, verbally. We got some quotes from Ayanna Presley, um, who looks like an alien. and that it's, <laughs> it's just awful. How... Is she 12 beers or is she more? No, she's. there's sometimes <laughs> where you have to just take a pass. 
<laughs> I might be one of those alphabet people if she was the last woman on earth. All right, on that note, let's take a break. Gabe, we're going to go. We're going to go to Jeff after the break. We're going to break down the LGBTQ and pronoun thing. Try to fill out a form on the White House website right now. There's a lot of questions. Yeah, there is. All right, stay with us on the Buff Show. <laughs> Action Plus Pressure Cleaning is the official pressure washing company of The Buff Show. While Matt's doing the dirty work on the show, Action Plus Pressure Washing has been doing the dirty work for the last 15 years in Central Florida. They use a soft wash system to clean pool enclosures, driveways, pool decks, houses, and commercial property. They even clean large and small parking lots and buildings. Wow! Action Plus offers other services such as lawn maintenance, one-time service to weekly service, mowing, weeding, edging, and trimming, and hauling away debris. You can get more than one service, and they offer bundle pricing. Check out their weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly services for lawn maintenance and ask about their free standard two-driveway with house wash services. Family-owned and operated, get your free estimate at actionpluspressurecleaning.com or call 386-506-1048. That's 386-506-1048. Action Plus Pressure Cleaning. They aim to please. Veritas Tactical. Tactical, a family and law enforcement owned company where you can get custom built ARs with purpose built precision. They have a full line of handguns like Glock, Six Hour, Smith & Wesson and get your everyday carry items and accessories. Moreover, they are your Liberty Safe dealer. Need training? Veritas Tactical has all you need from getting your CCW to advanced tactical courses, female survival courses and force on force scenarios. Veritas Tactical has a full time gunsmith on site, Sarah coding services, laser engraving and more. Mention the Buff Show and get a $25 discount on courses. You'll find Veritas Tactical at 207 North Goldenrod Road, Suite 200 in Orlando. Contact Veritas Tactical, 407-309-3000, 407-309-3000, and at VeritasTactical.com. Veritas Tactical. Tactical. Since 2012, Cellular Tronics has been providing Central Florida with the best phone repair, electronics repair, and computer repair. They fix all electronics from iPhone, Samsung, Sony, and many more. They also do TV repair and fix your tablets. Right now, you can get a glass back cover for the iPhone 8 to an iPhone X for only $95. iPhone 11 and up back covers are only $120. They've got two locations to serve you, one in Sanford, the other in DeBerry. Visit CellularTronics.com or call them at 386-516-6185. That's Cellulartronics.com or call them at 386-516-6185. Cellular Tronics. Whenever Biden speaks, fact checkers get the night off. Not here. This is where conservative warriors come for the truth. The Mad Buff Show on AM 950, FM 94.9. The answer. Welcome back to the Buff Show, 94.9 FM, AM 950. The answer, Orlando. Matt Buff, your host. And I'm going to try to introduce everybody by the White House pronouns. So, um, Brittany Walker, Blonde Patriot, um, they are here with me. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's not going to work for me. Nope. Okay, um, Nikki, show contributor, how are you? Okay, well, that's normal. <laughs> I mean, I'll give you that. Why, why does she get the normal one? Oh, you can't say she drink one. Uh, <laughs> Will, Will, how are you? Um, I can't call you sir, so I'll say Officer Will. <laughs> I don't know. See, at you can't even get, try to do pronouns. At least I pronouns. get a job. So yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they nope. can't even do it right. Wasn't Nancy the one who made a big deal about it? And then the next day was Kate saying he, she. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And mean, she said, "Madam Vice President." Madam, yeah. To I mean, give me a break. But you know what's good for thee is not, not good, good for, for me. me. We or they prove that me, over did and you, over. Did you guys see the meme of Kamala Harris? Is it Kamala or Kamala? Kamala, but we call her Kamala just to <laughs> mess with them. Did you see? It's like when you're the first v- female vice president, and it's her smiling, and then it says, "But you can't claim it because your your party doesn't identify with yes. gender person." And then it has her with like a sad face. It's so funny. Yes, I wonder what <laughs> Willie Brown called her. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> All right, Jeff on. On, Jeff on line one. Go ahead, Jeffrey. Jeff, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Matt, how are you? No, uh, we're just hanging out. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, first I just want to say thanks for taking my call. Uh, I know you and I have uh, got a long history of doing radio and stuff in the past. On Oh, Dr. Jeff, radio Jeff radio in Illinois. Yeah, Jeff so, in Illinois. Yeah. yeah, how you doing, brother? Yeah, we used to doing do a good, lot of radio good. together, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, 
Well, first of all, your 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 partner in crime kind of took my thunder about the whole Kamala or Kamala Dang Harris. It, I'm sorry. She does that. She'll you do know, that. But that's okay. You know, I, I, I find it interesting that you know uh, they they can't you know go off a of science where there's two two genders, but you know, hey, you know. Nope. So I guess she's not the first uh, female vice president because you know she can't claim it. So, but I believe the proper pronouns are they, them, and ours. Uh, huh. Something along that line. Yeah. So, so if I even I'm if I'm talking to one person, it's still they. Is that, is that what they're sure. saying? That's dumb. Yeah. Because there's only one person. They, them, and yeah. <laughs> or just them. Like, just like by means two. <laughs> because remember, they don't believe in uh, what is it in uh, unity. They believe in uniformity. If it's all they or them, you're all uniform. You're all one. That makes sense, and she took us to a, no, a deeper level there with that. That's true. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly right, because it is about yeah. the uniformity. You're exactly right. Hey, uh, so, Jeff, if they listen to the science, right? We always hear that. Listen to the science, listen to the science. Abortion would be illegal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So it's not about science. Oh. It's more about what do we always say it's about? It's all about, it's not about science. It's about control. Oh, it's about control. And, yeah. and mind think. Mm-hmm. Well, well, those of us, I mean, like yourself and, and, and me and, and others, a lot of us have what's called the CS syndrome, which is common sense syndrome. <laughs> uh, it is a problem. There's not that much of it, it left, though, problem. Jeff. No, there's, there's not. It's not. But I do have a question for you. Someone uh, asked me this a while back, and I just wanted to get your thoughts on this. I don't know if it's just a conspiracy thought or, or if it's actual truth. Uh, but the thought of Biden being in office uh, up to t- at least two years, uh, and then if he was voted out via the 25th Amendment or whatever means, that Harris would take over, would that be for the remainder two years, or would that be an, a, an additional two years on top of that, given her four years total? No, no. I, I had heard the latter, so I'm just curious on what your thoughts were. <laughs> Heaven forbid six years of Kamala Harris, but no, that would be the end. That she would get the remaining two years, and she would have to do a full campaign, and then they can do the ballot fraud again, and do the dump trucks at four a.m., and then she would get her extra four years after that. I'll be honest with you, though. I don't. I don't see Biden lasting a full two years. In fact, I don't even see him lasting until the end of twenty twenty one. I don't see him lasting two months. I don't either. Because just look around at what's happening. Okay, you have Democratic leaders who were pro Biden and supported his entire campaign now completely turning against him because he's put in seventy five hundred executive orders. Not really seventy five hundred. Well, it'll be that by next week. Yeah, it will be that by next week. And people are like, "What is going on? What is this domestic terrorism bill that targets more than half the country?" I mean, it's a really big problem. He's he's becoming a very radical problem in America, and I don't think I don't foresee him lasting the whole year. I think America is is going to get him out. The weird, the scariest thing I about agree. yeah, Jeff. The scariest thing about everything that you guys have just said about these executive orders, Biden is still mumbling and bumbling around in front of the teleprompter. Yeah. He even said, I'm signing, what what am I signing? They usher him Mm -hmm. out of there. His press secretary is completely lost in space. Uh, 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 uh. Saki? She's a a Russian spy. You know, that's that's my theory. That's, I really, and I, I mean, there's Saki. proof. There's proof. I mean, there's proof that she has been, <laughs> she has been uh, with <laughs> Russian leaders, and she, she's pictured all over the internet. In fact, as soon as Biden announced her as press secretary, photos of her went viral with Russian leaders. So, what was my nickname for Jin Saki? Twelve beers. Twelve beers. <laughs> 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 think about it all right jeff thanks for the call buddy and uh <laughs> great to talk to you man we'll talk to you soon jeff's a good guy we used to do a lot of radio show together when we were just doing online radio and stuff so that's good awesome. christian man works in the church and stuff and really good guy so that's awesome but um yeah these pronouns in the white house how we doing um so if you want to contact the White House via its official website, there's a category named pronouns be- between suffix, <laughs> suffix and email. <laughs> so L, right? L means lesbian, yeah? That means, yeah. That L. means you yes. like girls. I'm L, just, yep. L, G means you're gay. happy. No, you're, yeah. you're, you like boys. Yes. And then what? L, G, B. B means you like two Bisexual. different. Because bi means two. Right. So you like boys and girls. T means you want to be a boy or girl, Trans. but you're not. I still am so confused. <laughs> and then Q means you're just 
You're question. You don't Strange. know. You, you, and then yes. question- no, is it questionable? It's questionable. But, okay. What? And we're, yes. about L- so no, we're breaking so no, down we're, LGBTQ. We're building an alphabet out of this movement, you guys. We have LGBTQ, and, and then they the added next the plus. One, the next one's coming is P for pedophilia. pedophilia. That's oh, the next one. I heard that. That's the next so, one. So you on read the list. about that? Yes. Yeah. So this wow. um, executive order. I know you were going to get to that. Or do the you want war me to on hold women. It? The women. Yes. So let me tell you something. If you read in section one. It says, or whom they love. Now, let's talk about that for a minute. Think about it. If they're trying to make pedophilia an orientation of whom they love is very scary of how they're putting that in there. You know, and if people can't see that, I mean, that is literally opening the door to add the That's P. exactly what it exactly is. Exactly what it is. I read the same thing that you guys, and I, th- I thought that too. It is lining it up. I thought that too. Um, on the, under mm. President Donald Trump, uh, the White House website contact page included a form with the selections. Topic, prefix, uh, prefix, first name, middle name, last name, email, phone number, address, and a comment space. That was it. And now they've doubled it. Most conservative truth. It's all here. The Man Buff Show. Let's get back into the studio. Only on AM 950, FM 94.9. The answer. Welcome back to the Buff Show, 94.9 FM, AM 950, The Answer, Orlando. I'm Matt Buff, and I am a he, I'm a man, and I don't care if I'm the last one. I will be standing strong. I just don't know if I want that many women yelling at me. No, what do I'm, you think standing, with, I'm standing with you. Good. You can yell at, you can yell at both of us. <laughs> Brittany Walker, talk? Blonde Patriot in studio. She's a girl, a woman, and I a am. her. And a her. And she likes and cow she. boys. Yes. Cow boys. <laughs> tall boys? Cow. Cow boys. Cow boys. <laughs> but but she tall likes ones. The tall, tall ones. cow boys. <laughs> All right. We'll get a hat. All right. Show contributor Nikki. Her. She is on the show. Yes, she. Who yeah. really would get offended by anything we just said? How crazy would you have to be? A democratic person? Yeah. yeah. So a, a loony lib. Results. We're all stocked up. Hopefully, a Karen? hopefully not all. Yeah. <laughs> a Karen. 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 <laughs> Karen. <laughs> well, why did we bring this up, all this stuff up the last segment? We have prefaced it because there is a true war on uh, women and young girls going on with this. And we have an executive order that talks about women's sports where men can compete. And just earlier, a couple days ago, this big hulking guy beat these girls. And they had a, one of the mm-hmm. sophomore girls on TV. And she was like, what do you want me to do? I know. I mean, I, we, can't, we, we do this for scholarships. We do this for a future. And we have no chance. No matter how weak in mind men are, and there's a lot of sissy men out there. Yeah. They still are physically stronger than women. I mean, that's just a biological thing. Women have ten times more cool things than we do, and we have things that they don't have. All right? We have to go through a lot of pain, okay? Yes. Like, y'all have it so easy, you have no idea. No, but, that's you know, a, but I don't know if you realize. Of the on the Where's my music? <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's why Biden merged us. Yeah. <laughs> we present Battle of the Sexes on the Buff Show. <laughs> that's why we segregated girls against boys. Girls, yeah. girls, 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 girls over here. Boys drool. <laughs> so you know that this has been going on for quite a while. I just read an article yesterday or the day before, yeah, Saturday, whatever day that was, um, about um, these girls. It was in Connecticut. They lost scholarship opportunity to a boy who was able to run on the girls' track team. Unreal. Now I don't, I didn't look whether he was, you know, transgender or whatever. But this executive order doesn't necessarily even. Speak Specify that it has to be transgender. It says identify as. Yeah, exactly. So that's so the problem. That is the that huge is, problem. That is a big but difference. That means I could go difference. run in that race. Exactly. Mm. It's a problem mm. no matter what. But the, but identifying as means that a boy could wake up in the morning and paint his nails and just say, "I'm a girl now." It's like no. If, if we're if we're going to science, right? Science based facts is their big thing. Biology is science. Biology is science. <laughs> it's like one of the most important mm. parts of science. It's 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 crazy. Wow. Well, I don't care. Well, let me tell you this first, and then I want to get to your question about the transgender thing. Um, I don't care. Uh, there, there's this girl in, in America. She's the fastest woman in America. And I don't know her name because I could care less about women's sports. I don't follow it at all. It's boring <laughs> to me. 
<laughs> I don't even You're like kind of sports destroying anymore. destroying the whole thing. No, but I want <laughs> women to have the right to play okay. a, against and other women. And be enjoyed by other women. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they said there is 600 high school boys that are younger that are all faster than, than her, and she's the fastest woman. But I want her to have that title, fastest woman. I don't want some boy coming in there and taking that title mm -hmm. just because he's too sissy to go play with the dudes. He's got to go play with the girls to make himself feel better. And my question is, I, tr I don't care how much you look like a girl. To me, that is always a boy. Mm -hmm. See the 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 tough things when you look at these. I, I stand back and watch and listen to those things that are happening, and I could tell from way back these things started when in the household at the household level. Yeah. When the girl already wanted to be better than the boy, then the wife really wanted to be replacing the husband, huh. not playing her position as a wife. And scripture keep those things in alignment. If you follow scripture, you harmony. Know, correct. Wow. You will know your role as a wife, your role as a husband. It doesn't mean the husband is more important than the wife or the wife right. is more important than the husband. They have different roles they correct. play. It's very important if they stay in the lane. That's a, that's a really great point. But now it unfold. It actually at this point has exploded mm -hmm. to a big national, if not international level. But it started long ago. Mm hmm. It did. No, that's a, that's that's a phenomenal a point. point because he's talking about there was a blueprint on, you know, different roles to make the family work. People mm -hmm. always love self-help books and how do I be a better person mm -hmm. or how do I be? Well, if you read if you read that passage that Will's talking about in the Bible, especially in Proverbs and, and other places where it talks about, you know, when you're this way, it's going to cause a rocky relationship. But when you're this way, it causes harmony. When you when the nation blesses God, God blesses the nation. Mm -hmm. it's, it works. It trickles all the way down to the household. You're exactly mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. um, well, the other problem with that is that, you know, going into them sharing bathrooms and locker rooms mm -hmm. and they're, you know, like I think I believe Target started doing that last yeah. year. And here's my problem with that. Again, we already just talked about how bad uh, child abduction and sex trafficking is. So I have a very tiny, very cute, by the way, little 11 year old girl. I will never let her go into a public bathroom alone ever just because what some guy says he's identifying as a woman and goes in and takes her. I mean, we are opening a back door to so many more problems than we already oh, have, yeah. and it's disgusting. Now, when they identify as a woman, do they have to go and get it legal on paper? Or no, they don't. At the don't. moment they enter in the restroom, then they correct. can say that. Absolutely. So meaning any sex predator exactly. can stand in front of the restroom and, and say, correct. I am now a woman. So there's a, so there's a new term. So I had to get some education from my children, by the way, which is scary. There's something called non-binary and gender yeah. fluid. Do you know. know what that means? Just, no. So it means... I've heard it, but I still that haven't you explained. you basically, your gender changes per day. Exactly. So one day I feel feminine, like today, you see me, I have a skirt on, I yeah. got makeup on, but tomorrow I'm my normal self with, you know, shorts and, you know, bummy clothes or whatever. So yeah. I want to be a boy today and like girls. That's what that is. And I want to make a point. Real quick, Gabe, find that Shania Twain song, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Go ahead. <laughs> so I, just, I want to make a point to that. I was at the playground with Parker. I, I take him every week to the Greenwood Lakes Park, and I overheard a group of middle schoolers talking about those two terms, and I turned around and said, where, did you where are you learning this? And they said, in school. In what? middle school. Unbelievable. In our public middle schools, eighth graders are being taught about gender fluidity. No, my daughter's <clears throat> in sixth grade. Okay. She's 11, and she had to educate me what asexual bi means. People have, you guys, people have no idea how big of a problem this is. And I want to go back to uh, your Target point, where Target was one of the first uh, places to uh, do this whole, you know, gender neutral bathroom situation. There was multiple problems with uh, sexual predators, men going in the, the women's bathroom and, and targeting them. But I also, if you, if, if you dig deeper and see who is, is Target funded by, who's their mm -hmm. biggest shareholder, their largest shareholder is George Soros out of Minnesota. George Soros is also the largest donor of NAMBLA, which is the National Association of Man Boy Love. Yep. Absolutely. Which I believe Always they follow have the a Twitter money. account. Mm -hmm. Follow the money and you'll mm -hmm. find the crime. Correct. Christy, uh, line one. Christy, welcome to the show. Hey guys, great show by the way. Thank you. So, so 
So let me say this. You guys were just talking about, you know, it's, I have a 12 year old in middle school and um, I am, I am the same as you guys. I, I don't let, I mean, I talk to her constantly about what is normal versus what is not, because I'm sorry, there are definite lines that are normal and not. Mm -hmm. And I want her to understand that. I don't let her go to a, a restroom by herself if nope. we're out in public. I go with her every time. But, you know, I was thinking as I was listening to this, you know, how they desensitize us with all of these. They, they introduce and then they introduce something else. And it makes me wonder if, if they're not trying to take us completely to just an androgynous, you know, human droid state. Mm -hmm. That's exactly I what they're know. doing. Mm -hmm. Transhumanism is what it's called. Transhumanism. Right. <clears throat> You know the desensitization. Um, desensitization. Go, go ahead, Gabe. Chrissy, what do you think about that gender? Uh, what was it? The uh, gender fluid, or where I feel like a woman? Oh yeah, non-binary gender fluid. Yeah, this non-binary. Sometimes I just want to wake up and go play girls volleyball. I want to go and play soccer with a bunch of girls. I feel Man, like a woman. I feel like a woman. Never. The devil's alive. <laughs> Good job, Gabe. Way to go, man. That was funny. So my next career move is going to be into music. So we're going to go to karaoke. <laughs> yeah, you got to sing that at karaoke. Yeah, right? All these songs. <laughs> Let me know when. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Good job, Gabe. We're going to have to do that more and more. That was a lot of fun Christy, because why don't we it's play? silly. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Christy, why don't we play the Swamp Game? You want to be our first, uh, our first victim? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. It's in the other. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> well no, hold on. We'll ask you a question. Well, talk about um, while I look this up. Ask her. We got just a few seconds, and then we'll bring the game out okay. of the break. But Chrissy, you can stay on the line. I want to get everybody's take on who is going to stop this because when they talked about that executive order against. Uh, People that wear MAGA hats. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all yeah. it is. They are trying to eliminate the competition, right? It's like a war. One side's fighting, and the other one's cowering. We have the strongest base, the Republican mm -hmm. base, and the weakest leadership. Go ahead. Yeah. No, we do. No, I th That was it. I mean, you just wrapped it up. Um, oh. There's way more right. of us than there are more of them, obviously. Well, there is. And, and the thing is, too, I think now we see that even the other side that we thought where it was up with this agenda, they're turning against it now, too. Honestly, it's hard for me to actually believe that this is all real and that this isn't just actors. I, I, I It's not, you know, not, not to get into conspiracy or anything like that, but it's just it's all so far fetched to see so many executive orders being signed into place in the first five days. I mean, we're at we're at 17 in like two days, 17 in two days. We're, we're over 30 now. And Matt was saying that there's a plan to have over 50 by the end of this week. It's insane. And all of the, if you actually try to look up the executive orders on the White House page there, you, there's a some of them right there on the home page. Most of them you cannot find anywhere. Well, That's what scares me if you can't find them. I'll be honest. It's mm -hmm. terrifying. Mm -hmm. Well, nine mm -hmm. of the 17 are now showing on the federal registry. They weren't at first. Nine of the first 17 are now showing. So my question is the Freedom of Information Act, right? I mean, wouldn't that mean that if we requested to see all of those executive orders, don't they have to show us? Or no, because we have someone in office that wants to cancel the Constitution. Well, I mean, legally, you're supposed to be able to see that. them. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to see them. Chrissy, we're just going to give you a uh, free appetizer. How about that? Because <laughs> everywhere I go for Trump trivia online, it's like from CNN and MSNBC. Oh, no, 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 no. Who's the uh, bigger city, a Trumper? I mean, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> so thanks for calling. We'll get you that free appetizer. We got her number. It's good. We're going to take a break real quick on yep. the Buff love Show. You guys. Thank love you. you. Yeah, love you too. Thank you. Um, we got uh, a comment from Stevie Wonder. That man's still living. Uh, after the break, go ahead and cue up the song there. Yeah. On the Buff Show, we got Stevie Wonder. Uh, that crazy quote from uh, Aunt Ariana Presley. She's bald and hideous. <laughs> All this and more on the Buff Show. Stay with us. <laughs> Going back to the song. Going to watch me 
Action Plus Pressure Cleaning is the official pressure washing company of The Buff Show. While Matt's doing the dirty work on the show, Action Plus Pressure Washing has been doing the dirty work for the last 15 years in Central Florida. They use a soft wash system to clean pool enclosures, driveways, pool decks, houses, and commercial property. They even clean large and small parking lots and buildings. Wow! Action Plus offers other services such as lawn maintenance, one-time service to weekly service, mowing, weeding, edging, and trimming, and hauling away debris. You can get more than one service, and they offer bundle pricing. Check out their weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly services for lawn maintenance and ask about their free standard two-driveway with house wash services. Family-owned and operated, get your free estimate at actionpluspressurecleaning.com or call 386-506-1048. That's 386-506-1048. Action Plus Pressure Cleaning. They aim to please. Since 2012, Cellulartronics has been providing Central Florida with the best phone repair, electronics repair, and computer repair. They fix all electronics from iPhone, Samsung, Sony, and many more. They also do TV repair and fix your tablets. Right now, you can get a glass back cover for the iPhone 8 to an iPhone X for only $95. iPhone 11 and up back covers are only $120. They've got two locations to serve you, one in Sanford, the other in DeBerry. Visit Cellulartronics.com or call them at 386-516-6185. That's Cellulartronics.com or call them at 386-516-6185. Cellulartronics. A boring website can make your company look really bad. <sighs> Poor rankings on Google, Yahoo, and Bing means your company does not exist to thousands of monthly searchers. I'm not even on the front page. Come out of hiding with JJC Marketing Solutions and get found to more and more new customers every day. At JJC Marketing Solutions, they offer state-of-the-art website creation, Google SEO, PPC campaign, campaigns, and social media marketing that makes your company stand out. No need to go with those national companies that only care about you on the first call. JJC Marketing is located right here in Sanford, and the goal is to help businesses like yours succeed. Get better results. Call 321-765-7710 or visit them at jjcmarketingsolutions.com. I'm somebody now! JJC Marketing Solutions. The Buff Show, where conservatives come for the truth. Only on AM 950, FM 94.9, The Answer. Welcome back to The Buff Show, 94.9 FM, AM 950, The Answer. Visit thebuffshow.com, past interviews, shows, and more. Sign up for the newsletter. Our sponsored, we're going to be putting a bunch of sponsor uh, coupons exclusively for newsletter people that uh, sign up, men and women. That's it. Nobody else. Just men or women. He left out the other 71. And the gender fluid. Mm. <laughs> if you feel like a woman. I just Terrible. Said, I can't. I can't. Sometimes it gets so ridiculous I have to laugh at it. Will from Cellulartronics, one of our sponsors, visit Cellulartronics.com for locations in DeBerry and Sanford. Excellent phone repair, laptop repair, computer repair, everything like that. Right, Will? Yes. And save. And if you're wearing a Biden hat, they throw you out the store. <laughs> okay, so we just found we just found the meme of Biden's assistant. So on the break, you guys, we were talking about uh, Biden's assistant secretary of health and how it is a transgender woman or man. I don't know well, how that all works. It's a man who's but, pretending yeah, to be okay. a woman. Um, but it's, so there's a, a meme comparing her to Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, and, that's it. I couldn't think of his name. They are identical. They are identical, except one has a wig on and one doesn't. Okay, so that's kind of weird. That is weird. And they make movies wow. about that stuff. Tootsie was a movie that, yeah. that Dustin Hoffman dressed like a woman. Um, Glenn or Glenda. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, yeah. so I'm now tonight I'm going to have to research all their different angles of their faces. So I can do my own There's one thing that we can wrap up that whole segment with, with this phrase right here from our friend Jack Nicholson. Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. Yeah. Yes. We'll sell crazy somewhere else. You know... It's like Green Day. You know, I always wondered why they wrote that song, American Idiot, because I love Green Day growing up, and I'm like, I can't believe they're calling me an idiot. And then you actually listen to the lyrics now, and you're like, every country out there is laughing at us. Because oh, yeah. it, it's truly, it's just comical, you know? In times mm. of universal deceit, telling truth is a revolutionary act. Yes. And that's how we roll from the book 1984. That's how we roll on this show. We talked about Ariana Presley. You know, Science is lost on these people, but they use it all the time. She says, people not wearing masks is the same is the same as chemical warfare. Chemical warfare if you're not wearing a mask. I went through the Army, and they put you in the gas chamber during training. That ain't the same thing, no. man. You lose all your bodily functions from the neck up. 
And let's let's talk about the, <laughs> the hypocrisy from these people. Because, yeah. Because you have uh, Biden wanting to rejoin the World Health Organization from the day he takes office, when the World Health Organization said just a few months ago that masks are proven to be ineffective uh, in fighting COVID-19. And then you have Biden's Russian spy press te- secretary up there doing a demonstration <laughs> last week of two masks. And I was at a bar watching this. Actually, Matt, you, you and I were at Liam's. And I'm watching this and her, her putting a one mask on and she layers a second one on. And I'm like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> the next thing you know, you go on Google News and Dr. Fauci is saying that now not only do we need one mask, we need to cover it with a second mask. So, OK, Biden wants the World Health wants to rejoin the World Health Organization who says masks are ineffective. But then his, you know, Dr. Fauci says that we need two. Wow. Yeah. We're not going to take this crap anymore. Three masks, I was like, three. Three. <laughs> That's a holy number. But people just need to stand up and stop wearing them, period. We're not going to do more, it. The yeah. more you do it, I go to the store and I'm usually the only person. I have found there is courage in numbers. People see me and then they're like, oh, oh. and they start taking theirs off. Yeah. Stand up for our rights. Stand up for your rights. We're not going to take it. We need to. We need flash mobs because I, they're doing them in South Florida. My friend Chris Nelson is down there, and he has this song playing, and he has his megaphone singing I've along to it. Yeah. And he has mobs in Target. And they're not destroying anything. They're not like Antifa. They're just rocking through telling people, you don't have to do this. You don't have to comply. Every time Brittany and I walk into a store, not even, well, not together. We never go to a store together. But when she walks into a store, and I go into a store, five minutes into it, this is the PA announcement. Please put on your masks and respect yeah. other social distancing privacy. And so that's when you just pretend that you have a hearing problem. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> or you do what I told you. I did. I, I walk into Walmart and the guy's like, you need a mask. I go, okay, thanks. And I just kept walking and walked the whole they time. They probably don't know what to say. So actually in Target last week I did grace. that. I go, actually, I can't wear one, but thank you. She goes, oh, oh, okay. So just six feet. Okay. Just six feet. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff in the chat room said, if if I self-describe as an illegal immigrant, do I get free health care? <laughs> yes. Oh, breaking news. Oh, breaking oh, news. Hold on, oh. I got it. Hold on, I got it. One second. Oh, I saw that. This is the third breaking news on the Buff Show tonight. What's going on out there? So, statement from the office of the former president. Today, the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, formally opened the office of the former president. The office will be responsible for managing President Trump's correspondence, public statements, appearances, and official activities to advance the interests of the United States and to carry on the agenda of the Trump administration through advocacy, organizing, and public activism. President Trump will always and forever be a champion for the American people. All right. Amen. Amen. And a woman. Yeah. (laughs) So, uh, (laughs) that was Rep. Emanuel Cleaver. He said, amen and a woman. <coughs> amen is not a gender term, but he made it one. But no, you're, no that's good. And you, if you guys missed our, uh, what show was that, the Thursday show? Where um, we had somebody from the Trump tax team yes, on here, Julio Thursday. Gonzalez. Yep. He's literally in Mar-a-Lago, and they're working on the tax plans for the 2024 campaign. He said it so nonchalantly, I almost I missed it. But we broke it on the Buff Show. They're gearing up for the 2024 I campaign. I don't think it will be him, though. I wonder if it's Junior. I mean, if you were Trump hip yourself, would you really want... He'll be 77 years old, and yeah, he's in good health. But as much as that man's been through, I hope they're doing it for Junior. I think Junior would get a lot of traction. I don't know. I well, I mean, I th- I do think Junior would be okay, but I don't think Trump. I don't think he sees his age when he's doing no, that. No, like no. I think he has a med bed. I mean, think about it though. Like, look how he's going to all these different rallies and like different states. I mean, he's I went more to energy one. than I do. He bounced, I he bounced very rally. fast from COVID. Yeah, he's honestly. I, I don't he even got think stronger. he's thinking COVID about made him stronger. Age. He's not thinking about his age. And no, but like still. that rally she's talking about, he did three more that day. Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah. And I was leaving one, and I'm like, I felt like I was hungover for the next two Yeah, days. we did our <laughs> media press pass, and we're like, God, this is exhausting. It really is. And then the 77-year-old man jumps on the plane and does three more. <laughs> I wonder if he does, like, those, um, you know, the oxygen that you can pump, like, with vitamin C oh, and all of those. Like, I thought you were going to say baby's blood. Good, no. good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> No, like that's hard drop to his toes. <laughs> he's got those, you know, those um, those masks. 
you can do them like they have. What are they the called? The fences are always up. Those um, CPAP. CPAP. No, uh, <laughs> it's like a real thing. You go. You can do it. They have. They have certain remedies for like hangovers. Yeah. Well, they and, have IVs and they yeah. have like a breathing oxygen. treatment. Yeah. yeah. Oxygen and treatment. You, yeah. But you can also get um, additives in it. Like certain, maybe he takes Thrive. <laughs> Okay. He I mean, might be a Thrive customer. <laughs> let's, just, let's not go all weird. Maybe he just takes Thrive. Or 25-hour energy. 24-hour energy. He's got Those pills though. at the gas station. Oh, no, man. But no, I, he does. He's, he's all, Well, you know what he, You know what his, his deal is? He never drinks or smokes. He That's never true. has. Right. Yeah. Everybody else drinks and smokes, and we all look 10 years younger than him. And he's Speak for 50 yourself. years old. You don't Speak drink or smoke? Yourself. Wow. No, he, he, she doesn't I look ten years old. I, 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 I look way younger than you. Leave me alone. She's saying, saying, yeah. she's saying yes, don't she say do. that everyone who drinks and smokes looks ten years older. Okay, some of us know some what people... Botox and injectables and fillers. This are. is why I don't want to be the last man on the planet right here. Been chewed out by that side of the table. You guys that, look great. Guys, yes. We got Biden to chew out. Leave <laughs> each other alone. <laughs> You know what I'm getting? On a, on a on a serious note, though, yes. I'd like to say to anyone listening on this line. Pray for your family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lay hands on your kids. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, the time is now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Find a church. Go there. A good Talk church. to somebody. Yes, there's a lot of bad ones. Mm-hmm. We know that. There's a lot of them. But you, the Holy Spirit will guide you. If your heart is in the right place, he'll guide you in the right place. But do it now. The time is near. It don't is. waste it any is. time. I agree. A man yes. and a woman. Amen, Will. <laughs> Now, I, what I'm getting tired of in the media is both sides on the media using the pandemic as an mm-hmm. excuse for things. Oh, well, we can't let illegals in because there's a pandemic. No, we can't let illegals in because they're illegal. Yeah. We don't know if they're carrying COVID. We don't care. Don't let them in. Mm-hmm. The pandemic this and the pandemic that. Where I think we have millions having... out of jobs? Why do exactly. we need more? I mean, come on. Let's take care of America first and worry about the others later. I'm not saying just to leave them be. I'm saying no. let's take care of our country first. And Absolutely. the pandemic is not that bad, guys. 99% recovery. Yeah. Your chances of survival from that is greater than survival from the vaccine. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. hell yeah. is forever. <laughs> well, yeah. So yeah. clean up, America. <laughs> <laughs> we need a revival in this land. Well, tune in tomorrow night. Dr. Cordy Williams is going to be on the show. That'll oh, be awesome. Dr. Cordy, yeah. And then Thursday, you want to talk about revival, don't miss that show. We'll see you next time on The Buff Show.